Out of all the superpowers in the book, one of the coolest would be reading people's minds. Well, psychologists are one step closer to that ability. A new study in brain-to-brain -brain communication had participants a mile apart playing a game of 20 questions with just their minds. In the University of Washington experiment, the asker was equipped with a magnetic coil positioned near the back of the head to stimulate activity in the part of the brain that processes visual information. The answerer, who sat a mile away, wore an EEG to record and transmit electrical impulses in the brain. The asker physically selected questions on a computer screen. These questions were transmitted to the answerer's monitor. Now, here's where the brain-to-brain -brain communication happened. Flashers representing yes and no below the screen were set at different frequencies, and the answerer's EEG machine recorded the frequency he or she focused on. Then, that frequency was transferred back to the coil behind the asker's head. Only a yes frequency was strong enough to create a flash of light. But only the asker could see the flash, since the signal was going directly to the occipital lobe. The asker played the game, knowing a yes meant a flash of light, and if nothing happened, that was a no. The researchers reported askers correctly guessed the object in question 72% of the time. The lead researcher called it the most complex human brain-to-brain -brain experiment to date. While this experiment involved a transfer of visual information, in another study at the University of Washington, one participant made another participant's hand move by just thinking about it. Okay, that sounds a bit like mind control to us. The researchers say they hope to be able to transfer knowledge between people one day. They'd also like to transfer brain states, like alertness to a sleepy person or focus to someone with ADHD. The researchers published their most recent findings in the journal PLUS ONE. For Newsy, I'm Catherine Beek.